everybody! Happy holidays and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ansley and I'm an American girl who lives in Norway and likes to make videos about travel, Norwegian life, and just my daily life living here abroad. So something that I like to do every year on my channel is to review the latest Norwegian rom-com Christmas themed movie because what better setting for a Christmas Hallmark style movie than beautiful Norway? And for this year's movie, I thought I would watch something called Christmas as Usual, which was released actually last year by Netflix. It's based on the true story of a Norwegian girl and a boy from India who fall in love and visit Norway for the first time to meet her family and experience Norwegian Christmas for the very first time. It's a really fun movie, I think, for a lot of reasons, and it's the perfect opportunity to introduce all of you guys to some Christmas Norwegian tradition. So without further ado, let's watch Christmas as usual. So right away, the movie introduces us to our two main characters, Taya and Jashan. And you can tell it's a Christmas movie because, well, just watch. Oh, how did I get I know you love Christmas, so I wanted to do something Christmas themed for the... Oh. Are you crazy <laughs> right now? <laughs> I don't know. Uh... You don't even know my middle name. <laughs> so yeah, we've already cranked up the Christmas meter to the max with a Santa Claus themed proposal. So after a bit of pestering, Taya says yes, and the two of them decide to travel off to Norway for the holidays to meet her family for the first time, which is already a little out of the ordinary. I would say on average, Norwegians tend to date for a very long time before getting engaged or getting married. So the fact that they haven't met each other's families and the fact that this is a very quick engagement is just something that's not necessarily the norm for everyone in Norway. So right away I see they have arrived very underdressed for Norwegian winter weather. But yeah, I see this movie is taking place in Telemark, which in the winter time can range anywhere from 2 to negative 7 degrees, which for Americans out there is 30 or below most of the winter season. But Telemark is in the south, so it isn't necessarily the coldest place in all of Norway, and it is very beautiful, especially when the weather is nice. But Soon enough, Taya and Deshawn arrive at her childhood home, and it looks like just this cozy little Norwegian cabin right out of a holiday movie. But as they exit the cab, they're off to a bit of a rocky start when the mom confuses the cab driver for Deshawn. Because, plot twist, Taya never told her family that Deshawn is Indian. Oh, hi. Oh. Yeah! Hello, Josh, and welcome to Norway. Hello. He's from uh, India. Yes. I can see that. <laughs> yes. But they quickly brush off the entire encounter and go inside. And inside this cabin, it is just so cozy and it looks like every Norwegian home at Christmas. There are red candles, there's the candles in the window, there's this beautiful greenery everywhere, the wooden walls, the fireplace. It's all just so light and warm and cozy and exactly how a home should be at Christmas. And especially in Norway, you'll notice that there's a big focus on candles and light because it does get so dark in Norway in the winter time. Where I live in Oslo, we only get six hours of sunlight every single day, so it's no wonder that you try to fill your home with as much light as possible during these really dark months. And of course, they even have the homemade Christmas decorations. I've seen a lot of these, especially for sale at the flea markets around Norway at the public schools. I think it's really common for people to make these handmade Christmas crafts when they're younger and just decorate the house with them as they grow up. And when did you make this? <laughs> <laughs> it's all wonky and messed up. It's so sweet. My husband made this the last year before he died. Yeah, so Deshaun's still off to a rocky start. I mean, not the best impression to insult your fiance's dead father, but here we are. And immediately following this, we see Taya's ex-boyfriend on a picture on the wall. Who's this dude? Uh yeah, that's just a another authentic thing that I noticed while watching this movie is that. Taya is wearing her engagement ring on her right hand, which I also do. Norway is actually one of the only countries in the world where it's normal and traditional to wear your wedding band and sometimes the engagement ring on your right hand. I think Germany is another popular country that also follows this tradition. So it was great to see that they put that little detail in here. I also really love how they incorporated some really staple Norwegian Christmas foods into the movie, especially the rice cream. Uh, that's really good and they have it at every Christmas dinner. And also I saw 
saw that they had these meatballs and brown cheese, and I even noticed the Ustavel there, which is in every single Norwegian household. So anyway, Taya then goes and starts talking to her mom about Jashan. Du kunne jo ha fortalt meg det. Det er litt før. At han er? Indisk. Ja, men kan man si det? Indisk. Er det lov å si? Yeah, mama. Man can see in this. But unfortunately for her, her mom has already started to go down an internet rabbit hole googling things about India. They're often told the daughter's place is with her in-laws. Hey, what do you have yet? Norsk or in this culture are enormt forskjellig. Har du å google nå? Okay, Google. So upon seeing this, Taya makes the illogical decision to just keep her engagement a secret from her mother for the time being. Maybe we should give my mom uh, a bit more time. You don't want to tell her about the engagement? I just want the timing to be right. And this is pretty much the main conflict -y point of the movie. And then we get an adorable Christmas montage of some things to do while celebrating Christmas in Norway. You guys hang Norwegian flags on Christmas? Yes. Yes, we do. So yeah, that is actually something that happens in Norway. Uh, so my Norwegian family here, they don't actually hang up the Norwegian Christmas flags at Christmas time, but I have seen it done. And apparently it was something that rose to popularity after the World Wars when this new wave of patriotism swept through Norway. So you will see the Christmas flags around in some households as part of their Christmas decorations, and some families will even raise the Norwegian flag up outside on their flagpole at Christmas time. But after going through our Christmas montage, the movie finally starts approaching the big day, which in Norway is actually the 24th on Christmas Eve. But even leading up to Christmas Eve, there's a couple days that you can also celebrate. So they have what they kind of roughly translate to as itty bitty Christmas, and then Little Christmas, and then Christmas Eve. So there's sort of three days of celebrations leading up to the big day, and that's where we get another interesting point of the movie, which is for Itty Bitty Christmas, they decide that they want to do a big traditional dinner, which is very normal in Norway. But unfortunately for Jashan, he chooses this day to try to share his country's cuisine with the family, and it doesn't exactly go to plan. Well, you and your family have been sharing your culture with me, and I thought I would share the best of Indian culture with you. Food! It's a bit little enough. It's, um, it's teeny tiny Christmas. What is teeny tiny Christmas? It's the day before the day before the big day, and it's sort of like a big deal in our family. So yeah, needless to say, the meal doesn't really go according to plan. <laughs> is it that spicy? I don't know. No, it's really... <coughs> I'm so sorry. It's very good. I just have to... <coughs> mm. Oh, oh my and somehow the dinner is made even worse when Jashan decides to translate his new sister-in-law's tattoo that she got while in India. It says um, inner peace. It might not say inner peace. Hypothetically speaking, it might say gori. Mm, that doesn't sound so bad. <laughs> what, what does that mean? White girl? But despite this disastrous evening, Deshaun is still really trying to fit in, so the next day they all decide to go skiing, which is a very popular thing to do all of winter for all their regions. <laughs> After skiing for a while, they all stop for a classic snack break on the trail. And they had a lot of delicious termot, so like food that you eat while you're ut uh, so when you're out hiking or doing exercise outdoors. And I love all of this food. They really demonstrated it very well here, having hot dogs. It's also really common to have oranges and quick lunch and hot chocolate is a really good one, especially at winter time. But it's just so nice to have a little break and get to eat all of these snacks. And people will do it even if you're only outside for maybe like a 30 minute walk, just cause it's nice and cozy. But after stopping for their little food break, it quickly becomes apparent that Jashan is a very inexperienced skier, especially by Norwegian standards. So him and Taya actually end up needing to be rescued by her ex-boyfriend, which goes about as well as you would expect. Come inside, we'll have a drink or something. It might be a bit weird. Why would it be weird? What, you guys used to hook up or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, together for five years. Oh. After this, it only gets more challenging for Jashan when the family invites him to go ice bathing the next day. I am here for the full Norwegian Christmas experience. Yes. The Valhalla! <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh. So ice bathing isn't really a Christmas tradition in Norway, but it is something that's becoming more popular in Scandinavia as a whole, and it is a winter activity that some people like to do. But I wouldn't really associate it with Christmas time. So Deshaun does surprisingly well with the ice bathing, but of course, since he's not used to it, he quickly catches a cold, which consequentially ends up ruining Taya's niece's Christmas concert. <laughs> Seriously. In hindsight, it's a really small thing that's played up for a lot of drama in the movie, but you have to have some kind of conflict in these types of holiday Christmas extravaganzas. But finally, after all of this, we reach the big day, which in Norway is Christmas Eve. So we see Thea getting all dressed up in her beautiful bunad from Telemark, which is very normal. It is traditional that Norwegians wear very fancy clothes on Christmas Eve, and a lot of people will wear their bunads because it is essentially their like fanciest thing that they own. And then we get to see in the movie the traditional Christmas Eve dinner in Norway. Way. And I, for one, actually like a lot of this food, but for the movie, they kind of play it up extra dramatic. And what is this delicacy? It's fat. Yeah. <laughs> what sauce is this? Fat sauce. But apart from the ribba and the gravy, there is always aquavit at Christmas time, which is a type of alcohol, like hard liquor that they drink in Norway. And at least when we have it at our Christmas dinners, uh, we even have special shot glasses that are like special Christmas shot glasses, and it's really cute. Yeah. Um, skål? Yeah. Skål! skål. I think Deshaun might have liked the Aquavit a little too much because next thing we know, he's drunk. The fact that that happens does explain what we see in the next scene because for some reason, someone thought it would be a great idea to invite Taya's ex-boyfriend to attend the Christmas party dressed up as Santa. I am sorry, am I the only one who finds this weird? Yeah, what the fuck, man? Don't push me. Oh yeah, Deshaun. one more time. So yeah, I'm not really surprised what happens next. <laughs> so this is when we get the big blowout fight at the movie. Deshaun is super upset about everything that's happened over the past few days, about not fitting in, about Tay not sticking up for him, which is totally understandable. I knew it would be difficult to fit in with your family. And if you came to India, you would have a hard time fitting in too. The difference is I would have had your back. Or are you someone so obsessed with making Christmas perfect that you have lost sight of me? That's not true. Then why won't you tell your family we're engaged? So he decides to leave and go home that very same night, which in reality would be super difficult to get a taxi all the way out to the middle of nowhere in Telemark to take you to the airport on Christmas Eve, but somehow he manages. And it's great that he does because otherwise we wouldn't get this amazing scene at the airport that all romantic Christmas movies have to end with. Wait! I'm so sorry. Jishan. I'm sorry I didn't tell them about the engagement. Will you still marry me? How, how did you get inside the airport? Well, that's actually, uh... And with that, they're back together, and everyone accepts Jashan and his culture, and they all live happily ever after. Merry Christmas! That was the movie Christmas as usual. I actually really enjoyed this movie a lot more than some of the other Norwegian Christmas movies that I've seen over the years. They really put in an effort to make a lot of things authentic to the Norway Christmas experience. And it was nice to see that they even got real Norwegian actors to play the parts in the movie, which added an extra layer of authenticity to it all. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little Christmas video. And if you wanna see more like it or have other Christmas movies, that are based in Norway that you would like to recommend me, I would love to see them in the comments below and watch them this holiday season. But thank you for being here. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys.